Our lead rope still coming through. And as you can see, we've got Mackenzie Brown, Locker. Let's go, Tiani! Here we go. We will be the Division Three Southern Section Champion. The fastest runner in the country this year, both on cross country and track, running very well. Good job, good job. The sophomore from Dana Hills gives the Southern Section Champion. Foremost, congratulations, our Southern Section Division Three team champions here, Palos Verdes, uh, second year in a row. A very nice close to the decade. They've won seven Southern Section Divisional Championships this decade. Obviously, a tradition that continues. Ladies, congratulations on that. Um, Thank, you. We'll, Thank you. We'll begin with, obviously, when you come into this race, um, a lot is expected of you guys. Uh, you guys have been the standard of excellence in this division, top-ranked team in the state. Um, how were you able to go ahead and kind of put that pressure aside and just go out and execute as well as you guys were able to do here today? I think uh, our whole week going to end the whole time we've been training for this, our coach has been telling us like kind of like no stress since I think he knows as a team as a group of uh, this group of girls does better and we're kind of uh, we take it seriously but not to let it get to our heads so we just train hard and kind of just think of it that way as just something that we're out here we just want he wants us to do our best whatever comes out of that and so just having that kind of mindset helped us to not get in our heads too much and just go out and be strong and race our best race. I also think it was helpful kind of going into it knowing that we were all going we were going into it together and we were doing it for each other kind of as a team. So that was that was a really helpful aspect for me. Now, if you could just take us through on a journey throughout the season to date. Obviously, when you put that uniform on, a lot is expected. Um, you guys so far have done exactly what people have thought you were capable of doing. But what has the season been like in terms of bonding and you guys coming together at the right time to have a successful showing here today? Um, I think that I think that this season we really like tried to just like build our bond together as a team because we just know like how important it is to have like that strength like between us during our races. Um, and so I think at the beginning of the season, like um, we at the beginning. <laughs> I just I think we've just been like through every race and through every workout we're just trying to like build each other up as much as possible so that we we know that we trust each other um, during our races to do what we need to do yeah, and like with each race I feel like the more we experience together just the closer we get and so just um, just as time goes on it's we've already started off as like a really close group of girls uh, so just kind of like each race just getting closer because we experience more together and like more time on the team together and just more fun experiences. Now even with the successful showing of the team, it was even highlighted today because we had our top two individuals in the race also on the same <laughs> yeah. team. Just talk about what that's like ladies when they, you have two runners up there setting the tone like that. What does that do for the rest of you guys? I think it kind of pushes all of us to be like we have these two amazing runners up front and how, how can we not like use that to our advantage. And kind of, it's hard to kind of put that aside. And it's like when they're up there, it's <laughs> you can do it. You we can do know it. that that's not going to come all the time, and that's kind of like a very special thing. So it helps helps us for our, like mental aspect to know like we have this. This is not a common thing. So let's go work with what we have and use that to our advantage. Yeah, and I think just having them, having them on the team is a really special thing because. Like, like she said, it's not going to come around very often. And it's kind of like we know they deserve a team title as much as they deserve their individual <laughs> title. So yeah. I feel like we all, like, when it gets hard, we all push. And we know that they deserve and we all deserve it because they work so hard and we all do. And I think just doing it doing it for them and doing it for everybody is is really is really special to have them. I find it like really inspiring. Like I think we all look up to them, especially like not just as like runners, but like just as people. They're really good people, and I think we just all like love each other. <laughs> now, ladies, obviously, when a season starts, there are dates on the calendar that you want to have great races. Today was one of them. Um, you guys will celebrate that, and then I'm sure tomorrow, Coach Shapiro and everybody else involved will say, "Hey." We have another race coming up <laughs> yeah. uh, next Saturday morning, and obviously that one at Woodward Park in Fresno, another big one there in front of the entire state. What will the preparation this week be like for you guys? Again, when you put this uniform on 
Everybody knows it. It's a lot expected, a great tradition that you guys continue to build. How will you guys be ready for the next challenge on Saturday morning? I think just focusing again, like taking this and being like excited about it and happy, like on the best ride home, but once we're at practice again, just focus, training, and like we did leading up to this, like this race, it's amazing to win it, but we know it's it's not our final goal. So just kind of taking that and um, just, yeah, focusing on what the next big thing. Yeah. Not getting too high. Yeah. We have to getting too keep low. it level. Or we low. still have stuff to do, yeah. yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they still have stuff to do, but we're going to celebrate them today again. Our CIF Southern Section Division Three champions for the second year in a row, the program's seventh Southern Section championship this decade, Palos Verdes High School. Congratulations. Thank you.